ho ho ho. Oh yeah. Mario time. East Roland. West Vert Bridge. 172 Selge. Preemptive attack. Do 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 do. Flying feline. Do 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 do. Ah yeah, and such. Slice him up. He's a Kizik. Kizik, even. Ba -ba 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 ah! They just keep coming out of nowhere. Aya, you little bastard. Ow. I still do do some decent damage. Little turds. Alright, we're good to go. Preemptive attack. Do 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 we can one shot them now. Piece of cake. Fresh herbs. No preemptive attack. What is this nonsense? Ow. Damn seed. That is some range, sir. Bam! Sup it up. Uh -oh. That's definitely what we want. That's exactly the amount of HP you had. Piece of cake. Do 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 do. Uh, so we want to come over here. There's a chest hidden over here. I think this one has has some enemies in it though, so you want to be careful. I think it does. Yep, monsters appeared. And typically, if there's a ba 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 ba. If there's monsters in a chest, there there's usually a lot of them, so you want to be careful about that. Get rid of you, first of all. Hiya! And they're usually tougher than normal. Ow. We're gonna want to lower their numbers very quickly. Here come I on! Come. 
There we go. Hey, uh. Pretty good. Miss. Definitely wanted as many misses as, as we can get. Hey, uh. Ow. Ow. Crap. Or in serious draw a bow. Very important to drop their numbers as soon as you can. Another one bites the dust. Do, do, do. Let's do this! Huh. 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 Ugh. Ow. Beautiful. We should be okay now. Ugh. Kitty kick. Uh oh. Okay, good. Oh, come on, Joshua. Seriously. We cannot afford that. And that just leaves one. That was close. Perfect. <laughs> All right. We good. If you couldn't tell, this is a very tough fight. <laughs> oh. Alright, we rule. Look at all that sapeth though. Very nice. Pressure beast three beast flash like that was. And we get Topaz Talisman. You 
you o you open the empty chest and stare inside. The chest stares back accusingly. <laughs> That's a fine how do you do? Topaz talisman. A talisman crafted from a type of septium. The wearer's attack and defense will will, will become earth based. So 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 it basically gives you earth element if if you want to put that on. Which most enemies it. It's actually probably not a bad thing to have on now. Honestly. Because most of the enemies around here have 120, so because that are the stealth attack is gonna do a little more damage now than normal, which is cool. That's why it's a pretty good thing to have. Of course, if an enemy strong against Earth, then that's not gonna be good at all. But yeah. But there's going to be a bunch of accessories that kind of add a certain element to your attack and defense. That's that then. Later Let's games didn't really have that for some reason. I don't know why. They just didn't. Do -do 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 Da na 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 There you go. Bam! Aya! One shot Jones. Piece of cake. I get to fight you. We're running low on EEP. Not a good thing. Oh, oh! Aya. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Oh yeah. Audio time. Peace, flesh. Per. So first off, farm is where we want to go. Do, do, do. I think there's a chest we can get up here. <laughs> Pussy in a cunt style. Hey, uh, you need to get some AOE crafts. Those are very, very useful. Definitely speeds battles along. Yeah. Du -du -du. Don't focus your power. That's something weaklings do, sir. You know what I'm talking about? Du -du 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 -du. That's that then. Let's move out. That is that. 
Beastfully. There's our chesticle. Tear bomb. We got one back. The chest is empty. Ha <laughs> ha, got ya. Mwah ha ha. Chesticle style. <laughs> Almost a one shot. Hey! Take it easy, Jack. Hey, I said take it easy, Jack. They're not taking it easy! I don't understand why they're not doing it. I asked them nicely. What's wrong with them? Just don't get it. Now we're too far away from you. You're a jerk. Stop throwing seeds at me! That is so freaking rude! I do not appreciate such shenanigans, sir. Oh, Joshua, you fail at life. I still has to show you how to get it done. Piece of cake. Ba 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 pressure ba do 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 South Burzell Farm. You damn right. Do do do. Do, 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 do. I think there's another chest over this way. That dude just ran at me. Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's right over here. Have we actually got to sneak up on you for once? You jerk! Oh, Joshua, you fail at taking advantage. What a bastard! Do 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 do. All right, we're good to go. You're so good to go. It's almost disgusting. Tear bomb. The chest is empty. Shocked. Very very shocked. As a matter of fact. Do 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 do. All right. So we want to head this way. So we can take you apart, sir. Da na 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 bum butter rum 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 I will hit you with my staff, sir. And you'll pay for your transgressions. Ow! Uh oh. Okay, good. Yeah, hit her. Ow. Fireball! Bam! That's what you get, sir. That is what you freaking get. Da, 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 da. Use the last of Estelle's EP. That's what we're doing. We need a recharge. It's a fact of life. <laughs> Zero. You can't hurt me, sir. Can't do it. Not today, not ever. Hey uh Pop! Alright, we're good to go. Do -do 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 -do. Get an ingredient. 
You can also sell ingredients. For, for, for money, not much, but a little extra something if you have a lot of it. Cure Balm! The chest is empty. Surprised? <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Now we want to go into Purzel Farm. Try not to get ambushed by that nerd over there. This is a nice place. <sighs> no matter when we come here, this place is always so tranquil. It's hard to imagine monsters running amok here. I certainly don't sense anything out of the ordinary either. Anyway, let's go ask someone here to fill us in on the details. I wonder if Tio is home today. Do, 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 do. We got some plantas. Uh... We got a lot of beast flesh now. Chickens! So, fun fact, you can sometimes if you... Yes, sometimes when you talk to a chicken, you'll get fresh eggs. It's like a random dealio. That's a good way to get some extra ingredients. Fresh eggs! Newly laid eggs from free-range chickens. A basic ingredient essential for cooking. I think you can only get get one each time you enter this place. Something like that. We got greenhouses. Greenhouses. The San Francisco treat. You know, it's Will. It's Joshua. Did you come to play with me? I wish I had the time, but I'm afraid today I'm here for work. Work? That's no fun if we can't play. <laughs> Maybe later, if, if there's time. The kids here really like you, Joshua. Apparently so. It's Cher. Oh, Joshua. Estelle. My ear is itching for some reason. Hi, Cher. How have you been? Do you know where your mom and dad are? They're not home right now. Tio's outside if you want to talk to her, though. Tio style. I got a nice little house here. For a sweet. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Yay, nice painting out there. Do, do, do. Check out this tractor dealio. It's a cow! <laughs> Meh! <laughs> There's Tio. Hi, Tio! It's been a while, hasn't it? Estelle? And Joshua, too? Did you guys come for a visit? Not exactly. We're here on Bracer business. We heard that you've been having some trouble with monsters. Still and Joshua explain that they are here to do their father's work because he is away. You're damn right he is. 
freaking awesome. That is so freaking cool. You finished all your training? That's wonderful news. Maybe you can help after all. Maybe. So there really are monsters giving you trouble, huh? Regrettably, that's been the case the past several days now. Thanks to which, I'm suffering from a lack of sleep. That's too bad. Which means, the monsters only come out at night? Indeed they do. You're very perceptive, Joshua. It'd be better if you got all the details from my father, though. I imagine he should be back from delivering the milk and vegetables any time now. Cool. My father is out delivering vegetables. He'll be getting back any minute now. Cow style. Yeah, I don't think you, you can get any more unless you leave the area. I think that's how that works. There he is. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Perzel. How's everyone getting on these days? Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. What brings you to our neck of the woods? Did you come to see Teal? We were actually just chatting with her outside. To tell you the truth, we're here on an errand today from the Bracer Guild. Still hands Mr. Purzel the guild referral. Joshua explains that they are taking over for their father while he is away. Is that so? Hannah! But don't you think this job is a little dangerous for just the two of you to handle? I agree. I'd feel terrible if one of you were to get hurt. Franz! Franz Ferdinand. Don't sweat it. We're bracers, after all. And taking care of monsters is right up our alley. The guild has even authorized us to carry out this task. If you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. Leave it all to us! Hmm. Well, alright then. Go ahead and have at it. Thank you very much, Mr. Purzel. Then, could you tell us a little more about the monsters that have been wrecking your fields? I haven't been able to get a clear look at one yet, but they seem to resemble something like a chubby cat. <laughs> as far as I can tell, three or four appear at night and raid our fields, gnawing on anything they can get their grubby little paws on. They don't seem threatening exactly, but they're extremely nimble. We've tried many times to capture them over the course of the last several nights, but to no avail. Sounds like a pretty strange bunch of creatures, if you ask me. Since they only appear under the cover of night, we'll have to wait for it to get dark. Then how about taking a load off until then? I assume you'll be joining us for dinner, right? You said the magic word! You bet I will! <laughs> I'm a huge fan of your cooking, Mrs. Purzel. I can't wait! You sure know how to please a woman who spends a lot of time toiling in the kitchen. And for that, I'll whip up something special that'll live up to your expectations. Uh, love this nighttime theme. Oh, that was delicious. Your mom's cooking is as good as ever, Tio. <laughs> That's because she gets excited to cook whenever we have guests over for meals. Uh, I feel really bad for Joshua, though. With the little ones jumping all over him like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough, kids tend to latch onto him a lot. If anything, I'm more blown away by the fact that the children enjoy playing with such a stick in the mud. I think that's a bit of an over exaggeration, don't you? He's definitely courteous and maybe even a tad reserved, but if you get to know him, He's really a caring young man. The fact that he's not self-conscious about it, too, gives him points in my book. Points, even. 
You really think so? Think about it. With those striking facial features, mysterious amber eyes, and lush black hair. It's only natural that he'd be a target for all the young girls. Uh... Is Joshua really that popular? Are you blind, Estelle? Rumor has it that more than just a few girls have asked to go out with him. I hear that he turned them all down, though. That's too bad. I, uh... I had no idea. Joshua never said a word to me about it. I don't know how I should even begin to describe his secretive nature after hearing this. But how utterly cruel of him to not confide in me! If you were a boy, I imagine it would be a different story. But as a girl, I don't think that's something he would talk to you about. And the fact that you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me. Huh? Why would I? Estelle, you're in there, aren't you? It's about time to do our rounds. Uh, all right, I'm coming. I'll be back after Joshua and I get the job done, Tio. I'd like to continue this conversation then, okay? Oh, all right. Be careful out there, Estelle. Do, 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 do. That girl, she's either completely out of touch with matters of the heart or just plain dense. Poor Joshua. He really has his work cut out for him. <laughs> it seems as though the monsters always show up at about this time. We'd better get outside and take a look around. <sighs> What's going on, Estelle? I've gotta ask, Joshua. You don't happen to have any secrets you're not telling me about, do you? Come on now. Where are you coming up with this stuff? Since you came to live with us, we've always done everything together, right? Even though we've had our fair share of fights, uh, they're all good memories for me now, and... What I mean to say is, I've come to think of you as family, in every sense of the word. Estelle. So, if there's anything on your mind you'd like to talk about, I'm available to lend an ear. You know... About things like... Trouble with your love life and whatnot. What are you trying to say? Eh, no, 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 nothing. I just wanted to let you know that I'm here to listen if you need someone to talk to. <laughs> That's all. <sighs> Let's hurry up and get out there so we can kick some monster butt. <laughs> what kind of nonsense is Tio putting into that girl's head? Hmm. Secrets, huh? Wow, it's really dark out here in the countryside. So, Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. How about we start by checking around the house first and then move on to the fields, stable, and greenhouses? We should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it this way. All right. Let's go. Let us go. It's a good idea to save here because you can end up missing out on some BP. And you don't want to do that. I like McDonald's food. You just don't want that. Okay. So we want to look around here. No monsters here. All right, let's keep moving. So Bessie, you you want to check a few different areas be before the monsters show up. It's awfully quiet. All I hear are the bugs chirping. It doesn't look as if they've shown up yet. I wonder if they're aware of our presence. Hey, Joshua. Did anyone ever tell you that story as a kid? You know, the one about babies being born in a cabbage patch? Now there's another question entirely out of the blue. <laughs> and no, I was told about an angel with silver wings who delivers them. Interesting. So the explanation for where babies come from differs depending on the region, huh? <laughs> uh... 
How about we get back to work? Okay. How about it? Do do do. And I think we want to check the greenhouse. I should have figured monsters wouldn't bother coming in here. The glow of the orbments sure give this place a romantic ambience. Makes me feel like it was all worthwhile just setting foot in here. You are definitely a ditz, Estelle. <laughs> At least it's better than being dense like someone I know. Ditzy dance. Psst, look. Meow. It's getting away. Hey, get back here, you little furball. I could still sense its presence. It's staying put on the farm for the moment. Well, good. Because it's about to get caught. So basically, you want to make sure you sneak up on it. If you want the bonus BP. Got it. I think it's time to teach this critter a lesson. Here's where our job really starts. So stay alert and don't let your guard down. Ooh, there's a big one. Giant crop muncher. Of course, these end up becoming classic trails enemies. Da -da 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 -da. Crop Muncher and Giant Crop Muncher. Like how the regular Crop Munchers have have more HP for whatever reason. Come on! Bam! Takes care of that nonsense. Ow. Oh yeah. Luckily we did get recovered. Crop Muncher it, it is munching crops, which yields 50 HP apparently. That's always exciting. Of course they have no weaknesses, so... Nothing you can really take advantage of. Crop Munch! Wow, that, that's getting obnoxious. Oh, show. Oh. Luckily, they don't really do that much damage, so... Nothing too psychotic. Joshua, you're really pro prolonging this, you know that, right? I, uh... That's pretty much all they're gonna do, which gets really old. That, that That's why you want to gang up on them. Or... Or you're probably never gonna beat them, that's just the way it goes. And if you keep missing, then you're never going to get anywhere. There you go. There's that crit. Pop Muncher is playing dead. Woo! It, it did the playing dead emote. Wake up, sir. 
Oh, we need more moves. That's what we need. There we go. Bonk! Alright, we're good to go. Wow, that's the most experience we've gotten in a long time. <laughs> Flaky potato. Two dirty carrots. They're dirty. Do do dirty carrots. Meow. Meow. My goodness. The work of a bracer is something else. You kids have done a fine job of rounding up these critters. Haven't we, though? Do do. Do do. <laughs> it was nothing, really. Fun fact, they can actually blind you, but they never did in that fight for some reason. I wanted to ask you, though, now that they've been caught, what do you plan on doing with them? I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Now that we've given these critters a good thrashing, I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Estelle, how's that going to benefit anyone if we show these creatures any mercy now? We're here to do a job by exterminating the monsters, remember? But... In any case, we're here to do a job in Dad's place. If the same thing happens again, what will you have to say for yourself? I see what you're getting at, but... Mmm... You know, it was only some vegetables that were damaged, so... What do you think about letting it slide this time? You know... After taking a beating like that, I'm sure they've learned their lesson. Tio, Mrs. Purzel! But in this case, I strongly suggest otherwise. I myself am against killing them too. Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is, we're all living beings trying to survive on the same land. To some degree, I think we need to be mindful of those creatures living around us as we go about our daily lives. I know you may disagree with me, Joshua, but would you mind sparing these creatures just this once? <laughs> Understood. Since this is coming from the ones who suffered the actual loss, I won't object to your request. I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know I had you two come all the way up here. You can't miss that which doesn't happen. I'll make sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. Then, that's that! Alright, you critters. You better count your blessings. If we catch you around here again, you won't be so lucky. Now scram! <laughs> well, I'll consider this matter closed. Tonight's been a long night, so how about we head back to the house and hit the sack? How about it? The two of you are more than welcome to spend the night. Cool. Sounds good to me. I appreciate your hospitality. Good times. Oh, hardcore! I'm beat. It's really late, so how about we hit the sack? How about it? <laughs> Joshua? What's wrong? I'm sorry. I made the situation really awkward for everyone. You sure did. Huh? Are you talking about what happened back outside? Don't sweat it. I guarantee you nobody thought anything of it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of anyone's. No, it wasn't. I'm just cold-hearted and indifferent is all. Even now, I still think we shouldn't have shown any mercy and simply put those creatures out of their misery. Unlike you and Tio, I don't feel any compassion. Uh. It's at times like this that I really begin to loathe myself. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. <laughs> Maybe some part of my heart is broken or something. Joshua! Don't you dare say things like that about yourself! Uh, Estelle? 
tired part of Stephen Hastie's heart is broken. I've watched almost everything you've done for the past five years. And I'm confident in saying that I know your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone else. Probably even more than you yourself. <sighs> I won't allow you to just disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense. I don't ever want to hear you say you're broken again. Broken? Like that time Mitch... Mitch played broken instead of the comedy music. <sighs> I'm sorry. It was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, that's what really matters. Mm. Hmm. But you know what? Believe it or not, I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. Why? Your real problem, Joshua, is that you always try to keep your feelings locked up inside. Whenever you're troubled or worried, you just go around with this nonchalant look and try to fix everything by yourself. Nonchalant like a baseball player. It's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. Uh, Estelle, I... Joshua, you were able to lay bare your own weaknesses today. You learned to trust in someone other than yourself. And for that, I'm happy. I don't know what your point is, but... I'm amazed that you can just stand there and say something as embarrassing as that. <laughs> huh. I've got a whole lot more where that came from. But, how about we call it a night? After all this endless running around, I'm ready to drop. I heard Stephen Hasty is ready to drop. Alright then, have a good night, Estelle. And, thanks. You're welcome, Joshua. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, 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 oh yeah. You know what I'm talking Thank about. Thank you both. You did us all a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Should have, even. Please, don't worry about it anymore. We were able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If there's anything else we can help you with in the future, please let the Bracer Guild know. That'll definitely be the first place we contact. Come and visit again sometime when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over for the night again when things are convenient for you. I'll treat you to some of my best cooking next time you come. Thanks for the invitation to you and Mrs. Prezel. Prezel style. We'll definitely be back to take you up on that when our workload settles down. Well, that takes care of those shenanigans. Alright, how about we head back to the guild? After we report this one, we can start on the next. Sounds like a plan. On to the next one. Yeah.